Hello everybody, this is Alex from SoyaChinchow.com and this is a COVID-19 Vaccine Malaysia update. This is a weekly show where we highlight the latest developments of the COVID-19 vaccine as well as a national immunization program. Just a friendly reminder that this update is also available in Bahasa Melayu and you can check it out at SoyaChinchow BM channel by clicking on the box above here or on the link below. The national immunization program is now doing more than 200,000 vaccinations per day and two more vaccines have just obtained conditional approval in Malaysia. And how many severe side effects have been reported related to the vaccines? This and more in this week's episode. Before we begin, here are some highlighted comments from the previous video. Relax and meditate uh, says, Hey guys, thanks for the update. I have a question. I registered on 24 February, age above 60. The app shows that I'm registered, but I'm puzzled that there's no update on status on my vaccination appointment. The helpline is not working at all. Just record a voice message saying that the line is suspended. Do you know where I can check my status? Thanks. Well, right now the appointments for phase 2 is still ongoing and can check on the website at vaccinecovid.gov.my slash semap dash status. Alternatively, you can go to the help desk feature in the My Sejahtera app. Just go to the home screen, tap on help desk and select B. 60 years old and above, but still haven't got appointment. Fill up the details and hopefully you get a response as soon as possible. Yvonne Chow said, Looking at the statistics as of 8 June, Selangor's vaccination administered rate is only 15.2%, while KL having a third of Selangor's total registration hits 52.8% vaccination administered rate. Something's not right with vaccine distribution, don't you think so? Thanks for the comment and yes, and that's also a concern by the Sultan of Selangor, and the National Immunization Program will now allocate 25% of the total vaccine supply to Selangor. And we also have an update on how soon can Selangor achieve herd immunity, so please continue watching. Okay, next comment, Lee H. When there is a flood hitting your house and you're forced to jump onto your roof, you don't choose Sampan or Jolo's yacht. You just take whatever comes first. <laughs> yes, that's right. Thank you so much for your comment. And the best vaccine is the one you can get into your arm as soon as possible. And all these vaccines that have been approved are safe and effective and they are approved by a national regulatory pharmaceutical agency. Of course, all vaccines have different efficacy rates and there's always a risk of getting infected by COVID-19. But all these vaccines have been proven to prevent hospitalization and death due to COVID-19. If everyone gets vaccinated, it will reduce the number of people getting into ICUs and this will help to protect our medical healthcare system. Malaysia has increased its vaccination rate and it has achieved its 200,000 per day milestone this week. On the 15th of June, Malaysia has administered a total of 215,876 doses in a single day. This includes 160,226 first dose and 55,650 second dose. The 200,000 vaccinations per day was achieved ahead of its July target and the National Immunization Program aims to increase this to 300,000 per day in August. According to the JKJV's target, Selangor, which is the most popular state in Malaysia, will achieve herd immunity as early as September. With the opening of more mass vaccination centres, as well as participation from the private sector and outreach programmes, the state aims to increase its vaccinations from the current 35,000 doses per day in June to 165,000 doses per day in August. As shared by Kyrie, 25% of the total vaccine supply will be allocated to the state. The Ministry of Health has announced that the Pfizer vaccines are finally approved for children aged 12 to 17 years old. This is the first time that a COVID-19 vaccine has been authorised to be used for people below 18 years old. According to Health Minister Dr. Aham Baba, children will be vaccinated under Phase 5, which can happen as early as August. Malaysia has also approved two single-dose vaccines, which are seen as a game-changer in the National Immunisation Program. This includes CanSino Bio from China as well as Johnson & Johnson. According to the original schedule, Malaysia has procured a total of 3.5 million doses of the CanSino Bio vaccines from China. For Johnson Johnson, this will be procured through the COVAX facility. However, there is no mention on the number of doses for Malaysia as well as its delivery schedule. The single-dose vaccine can speed up the national immunization program and this can be used for people living in rural and hard-to-reach areas as well as foreigners. Dr. Aham Baba has shared that the number of severe side effects after COVID-19 vaccination is very low in Malaysia. The health ministry has received a total of 29.3 responses out of 1,000 doses administered through the My Sejahtera app. According to the MPRS adverse effect following immunization monitoring, a total of 2.4 out of 1,000, which is 0.24%, have reported side effects. Meanwhile, 0.09 out of 1,000 which is equivalent to 0.009%, have reported severe side effects which require medical treatment. 
He added that most of these cases require a short stay in hospital and they are discharged after observation and treatment at the hospital. Malaysia has a total of five phases in the national immunization program. Phase 1 is for frontliner, while phase 2 is targeting senior citizens, people with chronic diseases, as well as people with disability. Phase 3 is to target the rest of the adults aged 18 years old and above. Before phase 3 begins nationwide, there is now phase 4, which targets the manufacturing sector. Previously known as PICAS, phase 4 was introduced to offer vaccinations at designated factories and industrial locations. The vaccines are offered for free under the National Immunization Program, but the private sector have to bear the cost of administering the vaccines. Employers are not allowed to deduct the cost from the employee's salary. Lastly, Phase 5 is targeting children aged 12 to 17 years old. As of 15 June 2021 at 11.59pm, Malaysia has administered a total of 4,904,109 doses and 1,468,689 have already completed their vaccination with two doses. Selangor has the most completed vaccinations with 187,443, followed by Sarawak with 168,471, and Johor with 142,868. At the moment, over 3.4 million people in Malaysia have received at least one dose, and that's more than 10% of the total population in Malaysia. In terms of registrations, over 13.8 million people have registered so far, which is equivalent to 59.1% of the targeted population. In sheer numbers, Selangor has the most, with 3,513,960 individuals, followed by Johor with 1,727,211 and Sarawak with 1,323,339. If you haven't registered, you can do so at MySejahtera or sign up at vaccinecovid.gov.my or you can call in at 1-800-888-828. If you have any questions, you can drop them down below and we try to answer them as soon as possible. Due to the rapid developments of the COVID-19 vaccine, some of this information might be out of date, so you can get the latest information at soyachinchow.com or check out our latest video in our YouTube channel. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, like us on Facebook, and don't forget to subscribe us on our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell icon so that you'll be informed of our future videos. This is Alex from SoyaChinchow.com. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!